He says, what's definitive about you is not the trial, but it is the joy. Why? Because you know that those trials are temporary. But the salvation that God has wrought in Jesus Christ and that you have accepted by faith is permanent. You see, this kind of durable joy is a joy that is not affected by circumstances, not because the circumstances don't come that are unfavorable, but because the circumstances pale in the light of, as Paul says elsewhere, the eternal weight of glory. In other words, this suffering is real. This sickness is terrible. This physical defect is distra- is, makes me distraught. This Loss of the person I loved is killing me. But in comparison to all that God is and is for me, I get perspective. You see, Christian joy, the kind of joy that comes as a fruit of the work of the Spirit in our life, is an enduring joy. Not because God somehow rewires our emotional system Uh, you know, so that we are like a Stepford wife, you know, Christian style. I am always joyful. Joy is great. I do not feel pain. No. It's in comparison. I feel pain. I struggle. I mourn. But I don't mourn like people who have not experienced the beauty and glory of God and His eternal salvation on my behalf through Jesus Christ. That always gives me perspective. It gives me a durability in my joy that in spite of circumstances, I can still say it is well with my soul. It's well with my soul. That's joy that's in there because of the unchangeable reality of the person of Jesus Christ and the salvation that he has wrought for us. Now, how do we do with this? I don't know about you, but I get a lot of amnesia. I forget this. I begin to act as though Jesus hasn't loved me and given himself for me. I get to be like Martin Luther, the great reformer in the 16th century, who moped around so much so that his wife Katie one day came down in her all-black morning outfit. And Martin Luther said to her, well, who died? Who died, Katie? You're you're wearing your mourning outfit. He She says, well, from the way you've been acting, I'm assuming Jesus is still dead. Hey, you smuggle your nun wife out of a convent in a, what was it, a herring barrel. You get what you get, you know. I mean, that's just the deal, you know. But you know what? She was right. And all she was reminding Martin Luther of is you're, you have forgotten what's more true than that difficulty you're facing. See, your joy is gone because you are fixated on the pain or difficulty or suffering that you have brought right into your face instead of keeping the love and the perfect salvation that Jesus has wrought for you close in all the time. May God give us grace to keep things in perspective so that we might have the result of the Spirit's work, and that is a deep and abiding joy growing in our heart. Let's pray.